lovelies. So what I wanted to talk about today is, um, sorry, my mind's just all a flutter because it's walking dead day, but, um, I wanted to talk about being you. I'm like, I think this is a very, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but this is a very hard concept for me. Like I so was a child and then I was you know under my parents care and then I was like the good high school student like no regrets do everything the right way and then I was like in college good grades crazy partying I went to like a really big party school um and then you know I had this codependency so I was always like you have to be perfect you have to do everything right um and then I went from that to just kind of conforming to whatever boyfriend I had and then I went to sick Emily and like that was my whole identity and then I became a Christian and that was my whole identity and I just have taken a break from everything a little bit and it's given me a lot of perspective to kind of take a little bit of time to actually figure out who I am like who I really am like not what I identify with like oh I'm a Christian like I can't cuss I can't do this and I can't do that and you have to be perfect and don't post anything on Facebook that like has damn or like anything because people will see that and like you need to be an example and and like a lot of the things are true but I always go to like 120% like because my codependency just always takes over like you need to be a Christian on steroids and like you need to be perfect and and it's just I want to figure out who I am outside of what I am like yes I am disabled and I am a sick person yes I am a Christian yes I am a good person but I want room for my personality to breathe and to be able to spend time with myself and like enjoy that and not always look to other things to define me and I'm stepping back I mean I'm not, I'm not gonna step back from my faith that's a huge part of who I am I'm not gonna step back from making other people aware of my illness that's a huge part of my recovery but it's just little things like do I cuss because like I used to cuss like crazy I mean like people don't ever think that of me but like I mean and when I'm, I'm like when I say I cuss a lot like I cuss more than any guy at any bar you would ever talk to and now I don't cuss at all so it's like very odd because it's just like why did I stop doing that you know and I think this is a bad example because like obviously like cussing isn't the greatest thing and I don't want to like promote cussing but I don't think it's like horribly wrong either but um, I remember it being like a huge emotional release for me that I could like cuss be like that effing a-hole but I don't do it anymore like I just don't feel comfortable with it anymore and it, it has to do with me living in the south and um, also being a Christian now but um, like every once in a while I do want to cuss like I do but I'm learning that about myself because I'm not so wrapped up in these other things that are defining me and I want to be able to be me in front of every single person, like my parents, my fellow churchgoers, my friends. I always was like a different person in each situation. Like I was a different person around my parents than I was around my friends, than I was around my boyfriend, than I was around uh, teachers, than I was, I mean, I always played different roles. Like I always used to think to myself like gosh I should get into acting and I deserve an Academy Award because I just wore so many different masks and I just was like perfect for every situation and it, that's really complicated because it's almost like having DID like it's like who which one of those masks was actually me 
And like I'm finding out that not any of them were because it was all trying to please other people. Like what makes me happy? And like the cussing thing is just kind of like what, like I don't, cussing all the time doesn't make me happy. Like that part of me I didn't like, but every once in a while, like saying a cuss word when I'm really passionate about something or I need to get like an emotion out, like, or something's humorous and it's funny to say, like, I like that and so it's just weird to like I don't know look at yourself and just figure out your personality in your adult life like I you, you would think I'd have this down by now but I really don't and it's really why I don't really date now or anything because I need to figure out who I am because I've just been defined by so many different things and a lot of research does say that you kind of stop aging at the time that you get if you have a chronic illness or very serious illness you kind of stop aging from that 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 time and so that also goes into the mix and I am always gonna be a lot younger than or younger seeming than the people I'm around because I just haven't matured really past that age and I think that this experience of doing my life with chronic pain has really pushed me to focus on this and to focus on talking to you guys and interacting with you guys who each one of you has such a distinct personality and what you're passionate about in life and what you want out of life and where you are in your life and it really motivates me and encourages me to find that within myself and um, that's something I never expe I didn't expect anything from this project but that's something that I definitely didn't expect to come out but um, it's coming out just in the nick of time too um, only took what 10 months <laughs> uh, but yeah I just I'm finding it interesting and it's a little bit scary but it's kind of cool and exciting like I really I'm excited to figure out who I am and be able to be mad or be crabby or like I I never really allowed myself to be like snap at people or be angry or leave a situation and I don't know I just never allowed myself to be that way I've always been very guilt ridden person and um, I just kind of am standing up for what I believe in and standing my ground and um, doubt does creep in a lot but um, I have to come back to who I am and say like this is right for me and I know I understand and accept your opinions about things and I know that my friends or whoever will talk behind my back about some choices I make but that's their deal and like this is what I believe and what I'm going to do and I think doing this project really helped me with that because I don't think anyone really thought that I would be able to do this like vlog every single day I mean I didn't think I was going to be able to and I mean I didn't want to <laughs> like well, let's be honest here um, but I felt very driven to, and it's been like one of the, I, like one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. And um, I, you know, it's funny because when I was starting out, my I do get um, questions from people that are just starting out their channels and stuff now, um, which is funny for me because I just start I just started my channel I'm new to this but I have so many videos because I vlog every single day. So it seems like I've been doing it a lot longer than I have, but people will ask me and um, they'll kind of say, you know, what do you do to like kind of be successful in this? And I'm like, I don't know, just like, just be you and show your personality and like what you want to get across and be, just do it. Like just get on and do it and just be you and just get done what you need to get done and don't get frustrated like I have a lot of people that are that start their channels and you know like how do I get people to watch and 
like I just assumed that all of my friends were going to watch like my Facebook pretty much like people on my Facebook were going to watch I never thought that 99.9% .9 of my viewers were going to be complete strangers I mean they're not strangers to me now but when I started like I just assumed I didn't think that strangers would watch me talk to my camera but um so I, I kind of try to tell people that that are starting out their channels like it can take a long time to have people watch you because they just kind of have to stumble across your channel and like not all your friends are going to watch every single one of your videos and be like your biggest fans like they have their own stuff going on and um so it was really interesting and I think it's really encouraging because like I never I think it's a self-worth thing because I, I kind of do get like encouragement from you guys just watching my videos like people want to watch me and hear what I have to say and I look through my videos and it's funny because I do want to make videos that you guys like um, because that makes me happy um, because I like I, we, we like the same things like the you know Halloween makeup and the you know the chronic pain tag and you know those little tags and stuff like that that I am still working on all of them uh, I do like doing stuff like that for you guys but it's funny when I was looking back at some of the ones that you guys like because sometimes I really have no idea what to talk about so I go back and I'm like well, what do you guys want to hear about and you guys actually really like my longer vlogs, which is really strange in the YouTube world because most of the times if your vlog is over five minutes, people won't watch it or click on it. Like that's just it. And you have to catch people's attention, I think within like the first five seconds. I don't do any of that stuff. So it kind of does encourage me to be who I am because I am more myself with you guys than anyone else and I think that trickles into my life and just being who I am but it also encourages me with the choices that I've made and just kind of the decision to discover who I am and I just hope that move around I just hope that you guys would be encouraged to do the same because I know a lot of times we can define ourselves as sick people and I mean, I lovingly call us uh, sick people, but what we really can be defined with this, like I can get really down with, what am I going to talk about on my vlog? Like, I'm just going to talk about how I'm sick again today. And it's like, yeah, Emily, that's what you're going to talk about. Like, that's what your channel is called. Like, you talk about how, kind of how hilarious being sick can be sometimes and how you have to laugh and how you deal with it. And that's like the whole idea. Like... Who do you think you are you're not like grace helbig like you're gonna talk about being sick <laughs> like, um and that people kind of tune in and comment and um watch these videos where i'm just pouring my heart out is really um gratifying and also it's just really humbling and i think it's humbling in a, a couple different ways like it's humbling in that People spend that amount of time listening to me and my thoughts and my weird sayings and my dog and you know like I whatever I'm just I'm weird and I just don't care and um, but it's also cool that like we're doing this journey together and so I think that if you went back and watched some of my earlier videos you'd see a very different girl and that's just the beginning of the year so to have come this far and to realize that I am finding my personality and who I am and I'm not defining myself as like sick Emily anymore like I really am more painful hilarity than I am sick Emily but I haven't lost myself in this which is also really cool and healthy and so it's really cool to be part of something that's really healthy and God driven and and to just be able to get that time that we connect, like, you know, Bella popping up, making her little fleece caves. I mean, that's part of your guys' everydays, right? 
If you ever wonder why my dog pops up like that every once in a while, she makes little caves like out of fleeces. And so she's digging around in a fleece to like make a little home. So that's what she's doing. See, now she's all covered up. <laughs> Sometimes you guys see her pop up just in the fleece, but yeah. Um, this is my little bag. Uh, yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know where you are with like your identity. If you feel like you have gotten past being the, the sick person or you're still struggling with, you know, being diagnosed or not being diagnosed or, I mean, that can be your identity is being sick and not diagnosed, you know, but um, let me know in the comments down below where you see your identity and where you see it. I mean, I still see my identity very much in being a Christian who's sick. Like that's kind of melded together, but I'm hopefully coming out of that to become Emily who is sick, who is a Christian kind of identity. I want to be me with those things. Um, so in the comments, let me know. I've been trying to get back to you guys. I'm sorry. It's probably weird to hear from me like three days later your comments but I've just been trying to catch up when I can you know I got the flu shot and so I was a bit off and sick and um not complaining because I don't want the flu um I'd much rather get the shot so go get your shots um no but um I do have videos coming up but you know I just ha I've kind of had to let go of that for myself too because I'll get to it when I get to it and um and that's that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about whatever it is I talk about every day and ramble on about. But I love you guys and appreciate you guys so much. Um, I cannot wait to do the next giveaway. I don't know. I need to figure out a good, maybe I'll do like a Christmas giveaway or something. But I have so much stuff that I have just collecting for you guys. But Yes, I have so many videos coming up and hopefully I'll get them edited um, because, man, I get real weird in them. I mean, if you think I get weird in my unedited videos, you should see my, uh, my like, videos that need editing. Whew, weird. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a pain-free, stress-free stress -free day. Um, sending out X double O's and as always, I will talk to you tomorrow.